from the most expensive oil field to an insane airport expansion, and from a massive nuclear power plant to the most advanced high-speed rail. Here are some of the world's largest mega projects. Number 5 is Tel Aviv Light Rail, which will cost $20 billion. This is Israel's largest public transport project, and it will cost a whopping $20 billion. It is made up of three primary rail lines, the red, green, and purple, which total 90 kilometers in length. They will transport 228 million passengers per year, and the first of three is just days away from its inaugural passengers. But why is it being constructed? For decades, the Tel Aviv metropolitan area has been in desperate need of such a mega project. To appreciate this, consider how you can currently get from point A to point B in Tel Aviv. You can either ride one of the slow buses, get an Uber, or walk. Because of the city's growing population, traffic is becoming increasingly crowded. As a result, Israel has been thinking about a rail-based mass transit system since the 1960s. However, the unpredictable political atmosphere and funding issues continue to obstruct progress. After 60 years, Israel is finally working on a mass transit system. While most towns constructed these networks totally below, Tel Aviv chose a hybrid system that includes both underground and above-ground elements. The first section is the 24-kilometer long red line, which connects Pera Tikva and Batyam. Half of this route is tunneled, linking 10 underground stops. This red line is the first step in a proposal to radically transform Tel Aviv's transport system. The purple and green lines will be added to the system during the following five years. Moving on from underground rail tracks, we'll discuss a massive project that will transform air travel in one of the world's busiest cities. Number 4. The Dubai Airport Expansion with Construction Costs of $33 Billion Dubai has grown into a global city and a Middle East business center. As a result, people from all over the world are flocking to the city. Dubai currently boasts two massive airports to handle this influx of visitors, the International Airport and the Al Maktoum International Airport. The latter is still in its early stages and has only handled roughly 1.5 million passengers per year so far. However, it is currently undergoing a vast $33 billion renovation that will make it by far the world's largest airport in terms of both physical size and passenger capacity. Here's a short graphic representation of the incredible scale of this expansion. The airport's busiest year to date was 2019, with approximately 1.6 million passengers passing through. However, once all three extension phases are done, its capacity will be 150 times greater. This would make it far larger than the other Dubai International Airport, as well as any other airport in the globe. Four more runways, two new terminals, four lobbies and a cargo facility large enough to carry 16 million tons of freight per year will be built in three phases. A 40-kilometer road and metro network will also be created to improve airport accessibility. The yearly passenger capacity is expected to expand to 130 million by the end of phase one. According to some reports, this phase will be completed in 2030. However, given that the entire development to date has been paperwork, a mid-2030 schedule is more likely. Phase 3 is scheduled to be finished around 2050 and will raise capacity to 255 million passengers. That's more than twice the size of Atlanta International Airport, which is now the world's largest. But why is Dubai constructing such a massive airport? If all goes planned, both cities' airports will be able to handle approximately 350 million annual passengers, which is more than the total population of the United States. The basic reason is Dubai's rapid transformation into a megacity. The sheer volume of travelers will soon outnumber Dubai International's capacity. Number 3. Planned Vogel Reactor 3 and 4 Costing $35 Billion this is the massive construction site of a 14-year-long nuclear megaproject. The proposal calls for the construction of two more nuclear reactors at Georgia's Plant Vogel Complex. Unit 3 began operations in July of this year, and once the fourth reactor is done, these two will generate a total of 2,200 megawatts of electricity, enough to power around 500,000 homes. But the narrative of how we get here begins far earlier. Plant Vogel already had two reactors that started up in 1987 and 1989. 
For many years, these were the facility's only two reactors, each with a capacity of 2,450 megawatts. However, it has become evident over time that coal and gas power facilities will not be around forever. Aside from that, there are significant obstacles associated with wind and solar energy reliability and storage issues. Nuclear power plants, when done correctly, have the potential to provide millions of people with clean, dependable electricity. So, in 2009, Georgia opted to renovate this plant in the hopes of shifting close to 3 million consumers to a source of electricity with significantly fewer CO2 emissions. When it was approved, the project was expected to be completed by 2017 and cost $14 billion. However, work was postponed even before the planned start date of 2019. A year earlier, a nuclear catastrophe at Japan's Fukushima reactor resulted in heightened safety standards and licensing delays. A year later, construction began. The authorities opted to adopt novel ideas to expedite the process. This strategy, however, backfired and resulted in much more licensing delays than anticipated. The project was officially three years behind schedule by 2015 with the budget reduced to $22 billion. The pandemic had a significant impact on the project a few years later. Workers' timetables were cut, causing the entire plan to be pushed even further. Finally, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission accepted plans to load Reactor 3 with fuel in mid-2022. But as usual, something went awry. Because major faults were discovered, the reactor's wiring had to be replaced. So after seven years of delays and a 250-person cost rise, Georgia Power finally started up the Unit 3 reactor last month. Meanwhile, Reactor 4 is expected to be completely operational by early 2024. Despite the history of issues, state officials and stakeholders have hailed the expansion as a great accomplishment because it will result in more jobs. For the next 60 to 80 years, clean electricity will be available. Our next mega project, on the other hand, is a major oil field development that may be the last of its sort. Number 2. The Kashgan Oil Field at a cost of $50 billion Oil remains one of the world's most valuable commodities. As a result, states and private firms invest billions of dollars each year to locate new oil fields. In the year 2000, an exploration program in the Caspian Sea led to the discovery of one of the world's largest oil deposits. The Kashagan oil field, located 80 kilometers off the coast of Kazakhstan, contains 13 billion barrels of recoverable oil, enough to power the entire planet for five months. The project was once anticipated to cost $10 billion. However, the Kashagan development proved to be quite difficult. The oil is 4.5 kilometers beneath the Caspian Sea surface. Temperatures frequently fall below 20 Celsius here, generating a several meter thick layer of ice that lasts for months. Conventional offshore drilling technology are no longer usable in these extreme weather conditions, and due to the presence of ice, to deal with the ice, five artificial islands were erected to keep the drilling equipment from coming into direct contact with it. More than 5,000 workers stayed on the man-made islands, where they assembled pipelines in sub-zero temperatures. These pipelines will transfer crude oil from wells to land-based processing units. The Kashagan oil field was finally ready to extract oil in September 2013 after a decade of construction and costs that were more than four times the initial estimate. However, only a few weeks later, it was beset by a significant issue. The main pipeline couldn't withstand the enormous pressure and sprang a leak. As a result, the entire project was stalled once more, and the cost skyrocketed. Experts question how a $50 billion investment Two government-backed firms and four of the world's largest oil companies could fail to generate a single drop of oil. However, this was not an isolated incident. And now we continue with the most expensive mega project. If you enjoyed this video so far, help us reach the 5,000 subscriber milestone and subscribe to the Luxlook 365. Your love for our channel means a lot to us. Number 1. The Chuo Shinkansen with a cost of approximately 80 to 100 billion dollars. The Shinkansen, or bullet train, as the literal translation of the phrase goes. This piece of infrastructure exemplifies Japanese efficiency. These trains can reach speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour. Delays have been rare over the Shinkansen's six decades of operation, and there has never been a single injury caused by an accident. 
And now, Japan is embarking on an extension that would break technological and speed limitations in unprecedented ways. The new line will connect Tokyo and Osaka in 67 minutes, with trains reaching top speeds of more than 500 km per hour. To reach these crazy speeds, Japan employs maglev trains, which use magnets to hover slightly above the tracks. The Chuo Shinkansen construction began in 2014 and will be completed in two stages. By 2027, the first phase will connect Tokyo and Nagoya. This 344km length is a big effort because the majority of it will be through tunnels. Phase 2 will connect Osaka to the new line and is expected to be finished in 2037. It remains to be seen whether Japan can reach this ambitious timeline. Do you have any suggestions for other mega projects that we should discuss in a future video? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.